This is by far the craziest mod pack I've ever played in my life. Welcome in, my beautiful builders, to a brand new series. This is Feed the Beast Inferno. And as you can tell, it's quite a different mod pack. We are here starting off in the nether. And the quest book for this pack seems to be incredibly well written, so I'll give you guys a minute to pause here and read. But the basic rundown is we tried to do some voodoo magic to bring back the Eldritch One. And when we did our magic, blood magic spell, we messed up and we are now trapped in the nether for all of eternity. And our goal here is to try and escape. So we begin this pack armed with not very much, to be honest with you. We have this soul campfire that provides a region effect to our player as long as we're near it. So this is kind of our safety spot right up next to this campfire. We also have ourselves a shroom of illumination because this pack is quite dark here in the nether. And if we go ahead and put that on, as you can see, it's kind of like we're a walking torch, which is very, very nice and very useful. We also got ourselves a totem of undying that we picked up from that first quest reward, and we have ourselves a little bit of food. And that's that's basically it. <laughs> we are we are way in over our heads here on the nether roof. It's gonna get intense very quickly. So let's go ahead and let's see if we can grab ourselves some tools very quickly by picking up some blocks of flint. And this is what we're gonna use to make our very first tool, a pickaxe head and a flint tool handle. And now we have ourselves a flint pickaxe. First quest complete. So from that first quest, we are gonna get ourselves some brown and red mushrooms, which is gonna be a nice food source here in a minute. And then we also get some infernal effigy, which I believe is kind of a starter house. I'm not entirely sure to be honest with you, but I think a cozy cottage sounds like a nice little item to start off with here. Oh yeah, it's quite literally a cozy cottage. <laughs> All right, place that down. Oh man, okay, hold on. We, we messed up, we didn't give it enough room. Now go. Well, you aren't fun. Is it this stuff? Maybe it's this stuff that's in the way. Hey, there we go. I just had to clear out all of these little grass things that are on the roof here. And now we have ourselves a nice cozy little house to stay in. Perfect. Oh, and it comes with a chest. Alrighty, so I also got myself a couple of flint repair kits from making a flint pickaxe. That is nice. And now we should be able to make ourselves a flint and steel. We're going to have to do that with blackstone and flint though. So let's go ahead and head out here. And you know what? I'm just going to pick up some blackstone from this deposit right here. There we go. Nice and easy. That will come in very handy, I imagine. And let's head back inside real quick and let's make ourselves a flint and steel. I'm gonna probably spend a lot of my time here inside, not because I'm scared, no, of course not, but because because it's safe in here. That's why I'm in here. <laughs> All right, some mushroom stew for some food, and then dumb ways to die, be careful. I need to be careful the nether is not a safe place. At the best of times, being here naked and unarmed as I am would be dangerous even in vanilla. The bedrock roof is the closest thing I have to safety. I must be extremely careful, surgical even, when digging down below the surface. Dig tunnels, avoid mobs, get what I need, and get out. Running away is always a valid option. Here goes nothing. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've seen some of the mobs that are down below. I'm going to avoid going down there <laughs> for a little while at least because those things, they look absolutely mad. Uh, I can cook golden apples in the campfire to make demon's dream fruit. I'm glad I didn't devour all my golden apples when I first got here. Nice. Okay, so we should be able to cook golden apples on this campfire and get some of that demon's dream fruit. All right, so next up, I think I have to set this dream fruit on fire. Yes, there we go. Now we have ourselves a magical flame. Oh, a spirit fire. That's what it's called. Interesting. Can this hurt me? It can't hurt me. Perfect. Okay, so this guy can. This guy cannot. That makes sense. Totally makes sense. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and let's collect up this stuff. Ooh, spirit torches. This, this would be a good idea to put outside my house because it's very dark. <laughs> Inside my house is lit pretty good with the propellant 
propella plant torch? I don't know. They came with the house. They came with the house when I bought it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, those torches outside, that'll help a little bit, I think, because it is kind of hard to see around here, <laughs> especially around this this monolith that we have here. So the next thing that I need to get is, I believe, soul sand? Ooh, we also just had this unlock. What is this? Uh, fungus. Burning mushrooms in the spirit fire has corrupted them into warp warped fungus. Oh, so we throw, we throw our mushrooms here. Oh, baby. Give me that. That is a way for us to grow trees. Nice, nice. Okay, what if I do these? Oh, I get crimson. Nice. I don't know that I should have burned all of those, but oh well, too late now. So like I said, the next thing that we really need to do is get some soul sand. However, to get that, we are going to have to travel a ways. And we can either do that underneath the nether or probably safer to stay up here on the nether roof. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come all the way over here to this soul sand valley in the corner and get some soul sand from the roof, hopefully. That's the goal, at least. We'll see how that pans out for me. But before we do that, I do actually want to do slash set home. And this is intended for this mod pack because you're going to have to travel around quite a bit. And now if we ever want to come back here, we can just do slash home and it will teleport us right back here. However, there is some limitations with this for this mod pack. And I think the cooldown is something like, I don't know, it's like five minutes or something like that before we can teleport home. So yeah, it's got some limitations, but it should be nice for these long journeys like we're making right now. Ooh, nether quartz. And we should be entering the Soul Sand Valley any second now. There we go, Soul Sand Valley, nice. Now, in order to get Soul Sand, what I'm gonna try and do is dig down very strategically until we can find Soul Sand. So what is this? This is Soul Stone. That's definitely not what I want. I want Soul Sand if I can. <laughs> uh, I actually don't know what Soul Stone is. Wither is summoned with Soul Stone. Uh-oh. I hope it's not going to spawn one from me breaking it. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Uh, no, soul sand is what I want. What are you? You are soul stone again. Did they remove all soul sand from the soul sand valley and replace it with soul stone? Because if so, we're in trouble. If so, we are in big, big trouble. <laughs> oh, buddy, that's a long way down. I am not a fan of that. However, there is soul sand. And that is what I need. Okay, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Ooh, more soul sand. I like the soul sand. I don't like the the whole huge drop underneath me. That's that's not super fun. <laughs> I just climbed out of this hole and then I backed into it and popped my totem. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> why didn't I just why didn't I just do slash home? Why didn't I just do that? Why did I even build up? <laughs> All right, well, no more totem for us, I guess. But we got soul sand, which is exactly what I needed. And I think I can just throw this soul sand into this super special flame. And that will get us mycelium? No, no, I'm, I'm messing up apparently. What do I need? Uh, soul bead, soul sand, Fungi grass. Combining soul sand with mushrooms gets me mycelium. Ah, interesting. Okay. I have some mushrooms. I picked some of those up. And now something like that. Mycelium. Perfect. And like that. And now I should be able to... Oh, perfect. Okay. So we have some for warped nylium. And I should be able to plant on this. Can I plant either fungus on there? I can. And now, can I grow it? Grow, 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 grow. This is Twerker, by the way. We're just, we're just shifting. I actually don't know. We may have to have, we may have to have the Crimson Nylium in order for this to work. Man, okay, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look like it's growing. Whereas this, yeah, this grew immediately. So, yeah, I guess we're going to have to have Crimson fun Fungus at some point. But for right now, nice. We have ourselves our first bit of wood. Man, I'm not gonna lie, I really like how well put together this quest book is. It's as you complete quests, more and more unlocks, and I just absolutely love that. So, next up we have the Warped Nylium uh, quest that we just completed. Got ourselves some Nether Salad. <laughs> and then we have ourselves some Wood. 
Perfect. Now, we should be able to move on to making a furnace. However, I think we can actually cheat this a little bit because we can turn a blackstone furnace into a regular furnace. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, I got a blackstone furnace whenever I got my house. It came with the house. <laughs> nice. So now I can just place this right back down and we're good to go. Nice. Now, let's see. We've got ourselves some charcoal and some smoked mushrooms from that. That is going to be a pretty good food source here for a little while. And then also, our next quest is going to be making a composter. So, this should allow us to get some bone meal, I believe. So, let's give this a shot. Oh, do I not have a crafting table made yet? I sure don't. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Get ourselves a crafting table, which I feel like should definitely be an achievement in and of itself, but it's not crafting table and now let's go ahead turn this into that this into planks or into slabs and then a bunch of composters because i think that this is going to be very useful and i'll just set these guys and eh, we'll set them out right here now from that quest we got ourselves a bit of bone meal and also two wooden hoppers now i don't actually know what the uh recipe for wooden hoppers are but that could be something that would be a good idea for us to invest in wooden hopper it's literally a chest and some planks i'm probably going to make a bunch of those real quick because now i think what i can do is i can just put in our warped blocks into the top of these wooden hoppers just like so and get these guys automatically making bone meal for us and i think that bone meal yeah, it'll end up right down here in this chest. Nice and, I guess, semi-automated? Because I'm still having to put the mycelium in, or the, uh, not mycelium, warped, wart blocks in. But, I mean, then it just goes on its own, so I'll call that semi-automatic. So now it looks like we're on a bit of a quest to get sand. So what we need to do is make despicable dust or vile dust, I guess. So in order to do that, we are just going to take bone meal and we're going to take charcoal or coal or anything like that and just cook it up and then we should get some vile dust from that and i think we can just craft the vile dust into sand by throwing it into the fire out here the uh the special purple fire of purpliness beautiful sand done two quests complete got that one and we got this one perfect and now it's time to do a bit of chopping for some string. Just nice and easy, a cutting board. And I think I can just set that right here on the counter. And I'm not entirely sure how to use this thing. I've used it once before, but I know we have to have a knife, which we can make out of flint. So flint knife, just like this. And I think we just set things on top of the cutting board in order to cut it into straw. So. I think, yeah, we should just be able to add, can we add mushrooms? We can, we can add mushrooms and cut it down into straw. Nice. So I guess it's, yeah, yeah, it's literally that easy. Place down a mushroom, right click with a knife and bada bing, bada boom, we get ourselves some straw. Now this straw, is incredibly useful for making all kinds of stuff. Organic compost, string, uh, whatever this is, more organic compost it looks like, uh, rope, we can make canvas, which I believe canvas can be used to make books. So straw is very, very useful. So from the quest for straw, I just got this block that says, break for a surprise. <laughs> It's a spider egg. I'm not real sure I want this surprise, to be honest with you, but, uh... Yeah, yeah, I kind of figured that. Yeah, go away. Go away. Of course. Of course. <laughs> the surprise wasn't fun! The surprise definitely wasn't fun! Alright, can we get... Can we get some regen to help me out here? <laughs> Figures. Figures! What is this?! Why am I... Why am I being attacked by spiders? Hello? Hello, spiders. I have some type of spider gate. Some type of wave thing that just spawned in. Wave two starting in five seconds. Oh, no. How do I shut the gate? Oh, no. Hello. 
Apparently, <laughs> apparently this can just happen. Okay, well this will be, this will at least be some string, I guess. Um, I should probably, I guess I'm just going to cart these guys. Make sure that I'm healed up and how many of these waves are there going to be though? And how strong are these guys going to get? Oh no. Oh no. It looks like we're just getting more though. It doesn't look like they're getting any stronger. Oh, but they already hit like trucks. It doesn't matter if they're getting stronger. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. We'll just, we'll just cart you guys around. This is, everything's fine. Everything's fine. I've played a lot of Call of Duty Zombies. I, I mean, Call of Duty Zombies didn't have a lot of spiders in it, but I mean, it's, it's kind of the same thing. We'll just cart you guys around and we'll be somewhat fine. Ow, ow, ow. You're dead. Ha <laughs> ha! Did I win? Oh, I got an axe. Giant slaying iron axe of the God King. Nice. Interesting. Ain't I won? I guess I won. I don't know. <laughs> that was so weird. I'm definitely collecting the string though. Well, I think I've officially run out of anything that I can do up here on the nether roof. We have to adventure down to get either these propel plants or to go do some fishing. I think I'm going to go and get the propel plants though, because with this, I can get lava up here to the nether roof in order to do all of my fishing up here, rather than having to go down and sit at a lava lake down where it's dangerous. So this is gonna be our first experience going down to the nether floor. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to survive. I don't think I'm going to survive at all. Ooh, hello gold. If I was to say that I was scared out of my mind, <laughs> that would probably be an understatement. That would probably be a major understatement because I stairwayed down right over this huge lava lake. <laughs> so now I'm just trying to make myself a little bit of a bridge toward land and hopefully nothing attacks me or else I'm dead in an instant. I have no armor. I have no, no chance of survival. <laughs> Literally none. <laughs> oh, but everything's going good so far. So, you know, that's good. I kind of feel like I should just go this way, right? I feel like I should just go this way and make it, make it a little bit easier on myself. Well, here we go. <laughs> Our first adventure into the nether. I don't know. Yeah, I figured that was going to catch me on fire. Okay, I wanted to test it out though. And also, these little guys that look like vines, a thousand percent, they are. They will prick me to death. So, I got to be careful. I definitely got to be careful. On the bright side, if I get into major trouble, I think I can slash home and get myself out of it. Hopefully. that That's the goal. Oh, hi there. Go away. Oh, you have so much health! Goodness! Ho! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Hold up, buddy. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. That was scary. Hello? I don't think you can reach me. Go away! Go away! Die! <laughs> oh, and this axe takes so long. There we go. Okay, so this axe is like a one hit and then you gotta swap to the sword or something. Okay, all right, that's fine. We know this now. Oh, this is gonna be miserable, isn't it? <laughs> all right, here we go. I gotta find some of those bush plant things that we need or else we can't progress. Oh, actually, I think, I think those are exactly what I need. <laughs> I mean, it is guarded by foxhounds, so we're going to have to be a little careful here. But I think, I think those little sugarcane things are the things that we're looking for. So can I just, hey, you, can you leave me alone? Oh, this is right over a pit as well. This is going to go great. You, go away. Go. Oh, you're ex You explode things? 
Oh, I don't like this. You, go away. Oh, quest complete. Not all dogs go to heaven, obviously. <laughs> Especially not this dog. Oh, bye. Okay, you. You're blowing everything up. I need these. How do I get them? Oh, no. I'm ruining everything. How do I get them? Uh-oh. Uh. Oh, uh, uh, one heck of a plaque. Step one, close, boom. I can harvest growing food with shears and replenish them with bone meal. With a knife, I can carefully harvest the cane from the top down. Okay, knife, knife. Oh, beautiful. Did I get some? I got one. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, what's that thing? It looks like it's gonna eat me. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Whatever it is, I don't want it. Do oh, flame spider. <laughs> I'm just gonna go now. I'm just gonna go now. I hear you, 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 I hear you. I'm running. I don't like any of it. I feel like I need more of that propeller plant stuff though, so I may have to continue looking around. Go away. Haha! <laughs> Ow! Oh, I'm on fire! But hey, I got magma cream. Nice! Aha! I found a little bit more of it. Okay, we're gonna be very careful with this. Oh, I wasn't very careful at all. Okay, just a little bit, and then... I really, really want as much of this as I can get. Okay. All right, we got five. Five is five is fine. I think we're, I think we're probably good. Let's go back to the surface, and then I find a ton more. Nope, we're gonna stay. We're gonna stay. Hopefully. All right. Yep. 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 Give me all of this. Thank you. And just make sure we keep harvesting from top down, and everything will go perfectly. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, that's much more. All right, let's just do... Let's be safe. Ha 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 ha! Nice. 31 now. That... That should be plenty for a farm. Okay, so in order to actually plant this stuff, we're gonna have to combine the cane with some crimson roots, and then I should be able to plant this. Now, I'm not sure if I can just plant it on straight netherrack or if I need something special to plant it on. So we're gonna try with just straight netherrack because I don't have a ton of the warped nylium. So if I can plant it just right here like this, yes, perfect. And that should grow and give us some more cane. Nice. And while I was down there, I also completed some other quests, such as Not All Dogs Go to Heaven, which gives us a bit of coal, as well as a splash potion of fire resistance, which is very nice. And my inventory is completely full. Let's go ahead and empty it out a little bit. And then I also got myself some gold while I was down there, and this will give us the Piglin Prospector, which will give me Efficiency 5 and Fortune 2 pickaxe so that's pretty good however it is only gold rating so it's not going to last very long so we'll have to use this very strategically and then last but not least we got ourselves some gold looks like we're going to get some gold frog legs as well as some gold ingots which i think i can use this to somehow get a piglin so it actually looks like i can do this with the summoning altar from summoning rituals and the summoning altar isn't too bad it does take some rose court shards which we can find here on the nether roof and then we need some spirit torches gold ingot and some type of window which i think should just be glass and warped planks so yeah i think we can get some piglins up here and we don't even have to worry about going down below for that And there we go, got myself a summoning altar. Now we just need to get all the items for the ritual. And also we should probably set up a place for this guy to sit. Maybe right up against this monolith thing, right up in this area. That should be a good spot. Okay, so I think I have everything set up for this. Let's give it a try. So go ahead and put in the bone block, the gold. Oh, that, that took all of my gold. Can I, 
Can I get that back, please? <laughs> Thank you. I just want you to have one gold. Uh, red mushroom, crimson fungus, and lastly, a vile dust. And we should get a piglin that is ticked off at us. Hopefully. That is such a cool animation. All right, here we go. And hello, my friend. Come right this way. I have something for you. Perfect. Nice. And now I can just trade with this guy whenever I want to. Also, I believe that there is a quest for this guy. Oh, oh, he picked that up. So I may not even need to do this. Let's see. Uh, I believe, yeah, this guy. And then gold ingot. And I wanted to say yes. Oh, I have to hold it in my hand though. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pick this up. Oh, it needs a pickaxe. There we go. And now this, yes, perfect. This is going to give us a name tag that we can use in order to name our piglin so he doesn't despawn. Perfect. <laughs> now I should just be able to trade with this guy. You, take my gold. Now, because I can trade with that piglin, I can get some of these iron round plates. And these guys I can turn into shears. Now these shears is what I need in order to harvest our plants over here. And I think that I can just right click and there we go. We got the propo pearl, propel pearl. I, I'm gonna have a hard time saying this, aren't I? But anyway, there we go. And we got that quest completed as well. And I believe this is what we need in order to make magma creams, I believe. So uh, throw this into, yeah, the spirit fire and that will get us some magma cream. Nice. And then boop, boop. <laughs> Another quest completed. Man, this dude is giving me all kinds of things except for what I need. I really, really need some gravel because my next quest is actually to make the smeltery. And in order to do that, we need scorched bricks. And this is pretty easy except for the gravel. I don't know how to get gravel in order to make the nether grout that we need. So we have magma creams, we can make that. We have soul sand, we have collected a fair amount of that. I just don't know how to get this stuff. I thought that maybe trading with this guy or using Ars Nouveau could get us in that direction, but sadly it just doesn't seem to be the case and I can't figure out another way in order to get this done. I'm gonna head down below and just see if I can spot any, but I don't think I've seen any gravel down here either. So yeah, I'm really not sure how to get it at this point. Aha, I see some. It's not gonna be easy to get to, but that's okay. I at least see some and know that it exists out here. So that, that is good. Oh, there's some more right there. Okay, perfect. So this isn't a completely lost cause. I thought that I was gonna have to try and figure out a way to make it, and all of the recipes are very, very much so out of reach. So this, this is a welcome sight to see. And now the magma cream gravel and soul soil, that gives us a good amount of nether grout. Now, just time to smelt it up. And you know what? I think this is probably a good stopping point for today's episode. In the next one, we will work on getting the seared melter and the smeltery all set up so that we can start getting into some actual ores. <laughs> I miss iron. <laughs> anyway, that is going to be it for me today. I do hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. As well as if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe. Such an interesting mod pack with such a different way about playing Minecraft, and I absolutely love it. So if you did too, go ahead, hit the like, and subscribe for more content. Anyway, guys, this is going to be it for me today. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. You guys have a great day.